Hey guys, John here, learningguitarnow.com. And in this lesson, I want to show you how to play a beginner style slow blues solo, but only in one position of the guitar. Uh, a lot of times we learn all these positions all over the fretboard. And you know, you want to play a slow blues solo that just goes all over the place. Uh, just showing off you know, how fast you can fly up and down the scales and up and down the different positions. But uh, a great exercise is to limit yourself to only playing in one position. So why should you do this? Uh, I have found that limiting yourself uh, to a couple different areas uh, forces you to think more melodically. And you'll have to focus on chord tones and you'll have to focus on saying something other than just going to your old standby of going up and down the scales that you're practicing. So in this lesson, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take uh, the third position pentatonic scale, add a couple notes there. You don't have to stay in the uh, third position minor pentatonic scale, but that area, uh, also known as maybe the BB King little position, uh, makes a great area to play a complete 12 bar or even a 24 bar solo. That's a 12 bar blues. And in this case, we're playing in the key of A. We'll go ahead and take a look at the first few licks for free. And if you would like access to the full lesson, uh, check out the all access pass. You'll also gain access to the interactive tab and backing track for this lesson, as well as all the previous podcasts at Learning Guitar Now. Uh, in addition to the podcast, you'll get access to uh, 54 courses I have for playing improvisational blues and slide guitar, as well as quick tip lessons, interactive tabs, look of the month, and over 100 streaming backing tracks. If you're not really sure how to take your playing to the next level and kind of stuck in a rut, I have developed the All Access Pass to get players out of playing just minor pentatonics and not really sure what and where to go and how to play successfully in a blues setting. Let's go ahead and start this lesson. Okay, now I'm gonna break this 12 bar blues solo down for you into seven separate licks. Let's go ahead and start with lick one. Sounds like this. Okay, so that is lick number one. And we're not gonna play anything over the one chord, uh, the first uh, little section, uh, first bar. When the four chord comes in, the D chord, this is a quick change 12 bar blues. We're gonna play this lick here. And like I said previously, we're gonna play everything right here in between the 10th and the 13th fret. And a lot of times I like to call this the BB King position. That's just a great area to play a complete solo. So look one, we have this directly in that BB King position. That's the first little section. I mean, it's extremely simple. And this is a lesson in restraint, not trying to play thousands of notes. We want to see how much emotional content we can draw from just, you know, playing a very simple solo in one position of the guitar. So, like I said, BB uh, King position. So it's, it's great to take note of that 12th fret right here on the B string is when we're going to bend that. Uh, just half a step up and it's great to know that that's the minor third right there. So if you're bending 12th fret of the B string, this is one step to knowing how to play in uh, one position like this. You have to know where your chord tones are at. So minor third sounds great. And if you bend it up two frets, we have major third. So we have minor third, major third, bend up two frets. And those chord tones work well, uh, depending on what chord you're playing over in 12 bar blues. In this case, we're playing over the D chord, the one chord, we're gonna bend to the uh, 13th fret, that note. So when I'm bending to that, it is insinuating a D seventh chord, because that note is the flat seventh interval of a D seven chord. So it sounds great to do that. And it's helpful to know this uh, when you're playing over 12 bar blues uh, very minimally like this. So I got this. And then you'll notice this note taken directly from the D major chord is the third. 
So this just helps you understand why things work. It's a very simple lick. Anyone can play this. You can also add a rake to the beginning. Also holding our pick very lightly and striking the strings very softly. Adding vibrato at the last note. So that's a great uh, lick to play over the four chord. Now, uh, we're going back to the one chord, so I'm hitting 11th, then 10th fret here uh, on the B string. 11th fret G string, 10th fret on the B string. And now this time, I'm taking 12th fret on the B string and bending up to the major third. And so uh, I'm coming back to the one chord, A, and when I bend up 12 to 14, that is the major third of an A chord. So I got A major. That's why that sounds good. Bend up the 12th fret over the four chord to get the flat seven interval. And when the uh, one chord comes back, and you should be bending to this right when the one chord hits, we're hearing that uh, A, uh, that major third of A. So that's why that simple lick works so well. The next step of getting this lick down is probably the most difficult one technically, is you got a vibrato, a bend vibrato, for, we're counting 12, eight here, so we're counting 12 counts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So it's gotta be really even. Slow blues, we want to match that tempo with our vibrato. So for more about vibrato, uh, check out my blues techniques course to go over how to do bend vibrato as well as all the other vibratos. Okay, so that's it for lick one. Okay, lick two sounds like this. Okay, so that is lick number two. And what we're doing is we're still playing over our one chord or A chord. And so I'm bending the 12th fret of the high E string. And you're no, you'll notice I'm bending to the uh, 14th fret. That's two um, steps up. It gives me a major six sound. Move it down an octave. And that little pattern is heavily used by B.B. King, just bending up in the B.B. King box, 12th fret high E string. Two frets up gives you that major six sound, a uh, very cool sounding uh, bend. Pull it down, add vibrato. Now we're gonna bend it back up, pull it down, 10. Now bend up, uh, 12. Now I'm only gonna bend up half half step here, one fret, and I'm playing over the A chord. And so that's cool as well, you know, you can also play that minor third, but I'm not sitting on it over a A uh, major chord as well. You don't have to always just play to that bend uh, over the four chord. Simple lick here. Ending on that 10th fret. You have to know in BB King position that 10th fret B string, first finger here, that's your root note, your A note. So slowly we have the first part of this lick. Let that ring out. Now, um, right when the, this came in, the D chord is coming back around. So I hit this 11th fret of the G string and went back to that bend and just kind of gradually bent to that flat seven note and let it sustain without vibrato. Pretty uh, sweet little simple lick there. That's the lick two. Okay, well that does it for this lesson. Uh, like I said previously, if you would like the full lesson as well as the interactive tab and backing track, uh, check out the All Access Pass. Okay, I'll see you next time.